please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Monday, October 7th. My name is Tabitha Weaver with your morning news. Today is a class day. Sixth grade band, seventh grade chorus, and eighth grade strings will meet in the music wing during last period today. Celebrating their birthday today are Alexis Wall, Kelly Sendek, and Ian Wilt. Good luck to Kate McLean and Cassie Wentz as they compete in the District 5 Singles Tournament in Bedford today. College representatives will be here from Lock Haven University on Wednesday, October 9th, and Penn State Altoona on Friday, October 11th. Lock Haven University is having an open house on Saturday, October 26th, and Saturday, October, I mean November 9th. Allegheny College in Maryland, Somerset County campus is having a fall visitation day on Thursday, October 17th from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. There will be a mock crime scene workshop at Waynesburg University on Saturday, October 19th, 2013 from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please let Mrs. Spangler know if you are interested. The Altoona Beauty School is having a visitation day on Wednesday, October 23rd. 2013 from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. See the guidance office for more details. Grove City College is having an open house on Saturday, October 12th and Saturday, November 9th. Today for lunch, we are having a McRambler, hash browns, baked beans, peaches, juice, and cheddar Chex mix. Tomorrow for breakfast, we are having a funnel cake, assorted cereal, milk, and juice. Thanks and have a great day. On this day in history. On October 7, 1959, the pavilion at the end of the world's longest pleasure pier at South End on Sea is gutted by a fire and 300 people are rescued by sea. The original South End Pier was first opened in 1830 and is one and a half miles long. The pier was rebuilt and the pavilion was turned into a bowling alley, but the pier has continued to be affected by fires and rebuilt. It is still in existence today as a major tourist attraction. And that's what happened today in history. Hi, Jazzy J here with your three C's. Hey soda drinkers, do you know how many 12 ounce soda bottles can be filled in one minute? At Pepsi Bottling Company, the answer is at, at, is at least 850 bottles. Consider visiting a Pepsi bottling company near you to watch this process. For those of you interested in health-related professions, there's plenty of manufacturing related to the healthcare industry too. Ever heard of Micro Machine? Some Micro Machines are 1,000 times smaller than a human hair and can travel through the arteries, cleaning out cholesterol as they go. If you are interested in products used in the healthcare industry, you may want to look into a career in advanced materials and manufacturing. All right, time to go film the pep rally. Whoa, wasn't I just here? This is Jazzy J with your Brain Teaser Mondays. What is the next letter in this fairy tale sequence? G, D, S, B, H, S. The first person to turn their answer into Mr. Zerko in room 109 before the end of the day receives a prize. Thanks and have a fabulous day. That man is not your man.